Hey, everyone. Nice to be with you for a moment. Um, so, her mystery school just completed. I'm kind of in my decompression time moving into sabbatical for the summer. And as I was completing her mystery school, we were also opening it up for enrollment for next fall. So we start again September 6th. And then as part of that, I created Refuge, which is the gift if um, it's a gift for women who sign up before July 10th because pre-registration helps me. But anyway, so yes, please come if you want to. I would love to spend that nine months with you. What I want to share with you right now in this moment is kind of a very distilled version of Refuge, which was already a distilled version of um, some of the most core principles of the school. So I wanted to create, I mean, when I created Refuge, it's like an hour long actual kind of moving into Refuge and working with practice and working with gentle kind of ritualized, um, yeah, a, gen a gently ritualized practice. Um, however, it's based on something that actually came up and came through during the final retreat of the school, which was kind of like a stop, drop, and roll intervention technique for like a stop, drop, and roll deep feminine intervention technique. We were, um, it was the last day of the retreat, and I wanted to really kind of have the women walk away with basically like a quick, easy, all right, when you're losing your shit, you're about to lose your shit, when you are feel so far from home, like all the things that happen for us when we're deep feminine beings, where we're intuitive, sensitized, multidimensional feeling beings in a world that so often is moving counter to that, counter to the rhythms of the female body, counter to the pace of the female unfoldment, of a deeper unfoldment, right? All these things. So it happens a lot that, that it, for, through no fault of our own and through no, just because of what it is, right? That we'll find ourselves completely lost for a minute or way off center in a moment, you know, or realize we've been way off center for days, An anxious, you know, reactive, all the things. And of course, there's a million ways to kind of sort that out. What I wanted to come up with was uh, you know, like a, literally like a stop, drop, and roll. So this is what I got for you. It's the three A's. <laughs> so basically, this is what Refuge is based on. This is very much what her mystery school develops for nine months, actually. But I think that you can follow your own sensibilities even just by thinking about it, you know, even just by considering it. So the three A's for me are, che are three, three, check these three things before you respond, when you feel off-center at all. Like, that's the discipline right there. Once you feel off, do this. That's, that was part of the invitation with refuge. It's like, once you feel off, just come to refuge. Don't try to fix it. Don't try to understand it. Don't try to just come to refuge. Do this. So here is what I'm saying to you is when you're off, when you're out of center, when something, when you've done whatever, whatever's going on, stop. <laughs> it's like stop, drop, and roll. Stop and check your three A's. Your alignment, your atmosphere, and your absorption. So I'm going to go a little bit into that here. Just enough that I think it, you know, it'll give you something to follow even if you're not going to come to the school or even if you're not going to have refuge, uh, the, the practice. Um, alignment. So Alignment means a lot of things. I mean, we deepen into it for nine months in the school. However, a simple way to check your alignment is notice if you're up and out, and if you are, sink down and back. That's the simplest thing. Sit down and back. So if you're going to check your alignment, notice, am I up and out? Am I in front of myself? Am I running? Is my energy in all these directions? You know, it's a feeling. Just feel your way. You'll know. And for the most part, we are. If you're off center or if, you, if you're kind of agitated, whatever's going on, if you're not feeling here, then you're most almost certainly up and out. Here you go. So down and in. Okay. And that is literally a physical movement. Watch. Just here you go. It's as simple as like, all right, where's my back body? <laughs> where's my sacrum? Where's my pelvic bowl? 
drop in like a stone through water, coming back down and in. More powerful than you'd think, right? Because when you notice your, your beingness, like your system, your energy, your awareness, your tension is up and out, you use your body, you use your posture to come back down and in. So alignment. Ask, am I up and out? So basically, part of what refuge is about, part of what the school is about, part of what I'm offering here, the three A's, is a way to kind of intervene in the processes that just get going, you know, to intervene in anxiety, to intervene in uh, when we get hypervigilant and overmanage, and when we get reactive, or when we tr are trying to fix too many things, right, or if we're caught in a habit, caught in a conditioned response, caught in all these things, instead of con further tangling with them, right, this is the principle behind refuge, right, is instead of further tangling with the thing, instead of drawing on your agitated self to try to reckon with whatever's happening, stop, that's the, that's the one major thing, stop, check your three A's, and then return to it. So you're, you're coming back and then returning. That's the movement here. You're not staying in the fray. You're making sure that you are, you're checking your state of being so that what you're bringing to whatever it is is what you really want to be bringing. All right, so the first A, check your alignment. And in, here, in this, we're just saying, down, do you do it right now? Sink down, in. Down and back, down, back, and in. <laughs> We're rooting into interiority. We're getting, we're sitting down into the power in the middle of this moment, right at the center of this moment. We're gathering presence so that we have more of ourselves, right? Coming in out of dispersion. Alignment. Second A, atmosphere. Check your atmosphere. What that means specifically here is just, you can do it even now. Ask yourself, how close is the world to me right now? How close is everything? Your atmosphere, when I say your atmosphere, what I'm meaning by that is the, the kind of the, the sacred sphere of personal space that must be yours so that you can breathe, so you can feel yourself, so that you can be at ease inside of your own being, right? And what happens for most of us a lot of the time is via the nature of the way that the world compresses and wants our attention and wants to kind of manipulate and push and pull, there's that. There's also our own tendencies to bring things really close in order to hold them close, to know them, to control them, to, you know, protect them, whatever it is. Either way, whether it's coming from outside or inside, what happens when the world is all up on us is we can't breathe anymore and we don't have the necessary basic atmosphere to just be at ease here slow time enough and make good decisions, right? And feel ourselves. So when I say check your atmosphere, what that means is notice, just ask, don't think too hard about it. Just feel like, where is the world? <laughs> where is my partner, my kid, the collective, you know, my work? Where is all of this? And notice how close it is. Almost always you're going to notice that it's like right here. It's all up on you. And all you do, three breaths, just breathe out, expand your bubble. <laughs> Sounds simple, but this is the, the sacred sphere of your personal space into which your own everything must fill. You, you have to have space to unfurl. That means so you can actually feel what you're feeling. So you can breathe and find a certain amount of ease no matter what's going on so that you have the kind of energetic architecture set up so that you can take a pause so that things don't come right up on you and kind of push all of those buttons the hypervigilance the panic the you know the, the everything right we we get in these reactionary modes because we don't have this you know it's something to cultivate uh, probably for a lifetime i certainly have to a lot which is like wait oh yeah wait no 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 i never gave permission nor is it correct for everything and everyone to get so close to me so fast, just because they want to. There needs to be a guardian at the gate here. Like, I need a moment to decide, does, what, 
look at this thing. Oh yeah, okay, well I can see it because it's here and it's not here, right? So what you wanna do is check your atmosphere. And by that I mean your, your personal sphere. Breathing three times, just breathing everything out on your in-breath, almost like you're inflating a balloon by that. And then on your exhale, just resting there for a minute. Out, resting. A few breaths just to, and you can use your hands to support whatever. And what you'll notice is you'll get everything to the right place. Like, okay, I can breathe. So you're not throwing the whole world away. You're not abandoning. You're not disconnecting. You're bringing everything to right relationship, right relationship to your sphere, intact sphere of being so that you can function, right? And what you'll notice, especially with atmosphere, a lot of the time is if you, if you do that, if you just breathe everything out and, and find your space, take your ease again, situations will change. Your perspective on the situation will change. Your sense of how you can handle the situation will change. Sometimes the whole thing will just evaporate because you'll realize that you had drawn in all these things and you're tussling with them. And when you breathe them out, you realize they're not even yours. <laughs> it was like something you read on Facebook. It was, it's something that's somebody else's business. It's, it belongs to someone else. And you've kind of crossed out of right relationship by bringing it so close, right? For whatever reasons we have, whatever reasons the world had, doesn't matter. This is a natural birthright, just state of being. You need to be able to breathe and you need to be able to feel Feel your own essence, like fill with your own fragrance, feel your feelings and be able to see, right? Be able to see what's around you. So the two A's so far, check your alignment, check your atmosphere, check your absorption. So what I mean by this is, are you resourced? Are you in an absorptive state? And most of the time we aren't especially if we're, if we're anxious, if we've gotten bound up, if we've gotten pissed, we're rigidified, we've gotten bitter, you know, whatever's happened, we've, we've kind of um, hardened into uh, posture, right? And what that feels, feels like in our system is not supple. <laughs> it's hard. And what we want to do, and when we harden like that, we are no longer penetratable by the divine. We are no longer pen penetratable or absorptive to the support that is actually always here, whether it's seen or unseen, right? So when I say check your absorption, that means, all right, look, you might feel stressed. These things might be going on. Circumstances might be really intense. Who knows what's happening? Check. Are you absorbing what is here for you? And sometimes that's as simple as, okay, well, there's the chair, it's supporting me. There's something at my back. There's something underneath me. I can rest here, I can get a little support. I can feel, I can feel upheld. Sometimes that's like, oh, okay, there's the breeze. Sometimes it's just when you become absorptive, you're able to absorb what is there, right? So you wanna check that because what, you, what we need to be is resourced no matter what we're facing. And a lot of times when we, and all of this is me kind of <laughs> after five years of her mystery school and a couple decades of other everything else, just kind of looking at it and, and realizing that like there are, these are for me the places where I most fundamentally go off that I can most easily and quickly remedy through my own choice and in the moment regardless of circumstance. And that's, a, that's something that I think about a lot. Regardless of circumstance, where is my agency? Regardless of circumstance, what does it mean to be a woman incarnate who has access to gifts, right? To a certain way of a, a subtle connection with creation, right? That is here for me, here to help me on this earth walk, right? So absorption. What else do I want to say about that? Just to, to become absorptive, right? And we check our atmosphere first, right? Because you don't want to be just like further absorbing everything. You want to get your, get things out. And then inside of your own intact space, you just, 
just your intact field, right? You want to become absorptive inside of that. So that doesn't mean you're absorbing everything else. It doesn't mean you're absorbing what's not for you or the or the you know anything that doesn't that you don't want to absorb. What it means is you're absorbing yourself and you're absorbing the nourishment that is either coming from the earth, the sky, or all directions, right? So you want to, or from the beauty that's near you, or what it, it will always be there. There is always something holding us up. Otherwise, we, we just wouldn't be here, right? There's, there's always something for you. Always. Turn to it and find it. This is, this is true prayer, right? This is what it is to say, okay, I need you. Where are you? Show me. I'm looking. I'm open. Show me. You know, sometimes, because you're a subtle being, that'll be something as, as like subtle as like a wave of jasmine <laughs> coming through or... Your, your eyes filling with violet light or something. You know, you want to watch your subtle attune, your subtle body. But also, it will be things like, oh yeah, that's right. That's right. I could take this to therapy. <laughs> you know, once you get clear a little bit, you can, you, you, you'll feel, you'll attune to where your resource is and you'll take it in. Kind of the most important thing is that you take it in in the moment too. Well, the two things so that you know what it is and that you're taking it in. So, all right. Oh, okay, wait. Okay, this is something I should take to therapy. Great. That's a resource. Am I going to absorb that right now though? I don't have therapy until next Wednesday, right? And I, I, I won't have the support to talk this out until then. However, can I breathe in just the support of knowing that it's there, right? What does that look like? All right, I'm, I'm becoming more supple. I'm relaxing into it, right? It's a softening. When we become more absorptive, what we're doing is we are softening in order to receive, right? You are a receptive being. And what you need to be is resourced, right? So much of what, so much, so many of the ways in which we get really burnt out or spun out or caught in these like repetitive cycles of things or off center has to do with depletion. We just get really tired, you know, and we're consistently giving more than we realize. We are consistently digesting and integrating and holding more than we realize, right? Especially as female beings, because we have, by our nature, we're kind of tuning up the atmosphere all the time. We're tuning up relational fields we're tuning up the subtle we're listening we're tracking we're doing all these things and we run into hypervigilance really fast so these are the three a's for you to consider i would love to hear if you try it you can share it share it with me in the comments below the three a's am i aligned soften down sink back how's my atmosphere Breathe it all out. Make sure you're not being suffocated by the world. That's not you in your poise, you in your realm, right? In your ease, which you can take no matter what. And thirdly, are you absorptive? Are you absorbing what is here for you? Are you resourced, therefore, right? So you're turning toward resource, opening to it, softening to receive it right now, right? In this moment. And what I would love to hear from you or what I, what I would invite you to explore is like, if you notice, you're in, if you're in a situation relationally, inside of yourself, whatever's going on, if you, if you just try this one time, so instead of continuing to tangle with it, try to figure it out, instead of analyzing how it represents your childhood or how it or worrying about what this means about who you are or, you know, whatever it is, instead of any of the things to just say, wait, before I even think about this one more minute, before I do anything, I'm going to check my three A's and adjust them, right? This is you working with the fabric of your own being, right? Am I aligned? Probably not. Do I have any atmosphere around me? Probably not. <laughs> Am I absorptive? Almost certainly not, you know, and adjust those things in whatever way you do. I've given practices at different times. I can't think of one right now, but, um, well, the woman incarnate meditation probably would support with that. It's free on the website, right? So, um, but whatever you do and then just, and then return, 
This is what it means to take refuge. It doesn't mean to hide. It means to come and gather power from a deeper well and then to come back to what you hold and what, you, what you're involved in, what you create, all these things. To take refuge, that's what that is. It's not, it's not hiding, right? And it's not, a, it's, not a, it's not a cowering. We take refuge to draw from a much deeper place, gather power, and then bring it forward into our lives and into our world, right, for the good of all. So that's my offering for you today. Um, her mystery school is open for enrollment, nine months. I would love to walk it with you. Um, we start September 6th. If you register before July 10th, you would receive refuge, which is what I made kind of, it's an hour long guided uh, ritual homecoming. It's a ritual of homecoming and deep feminine soul retrieval. Um, it's based on these three A's. In the meantime, I hope you give it a try. It's a lot simpler often, I think, than we think to um, just come home. It's always closer than we think. Blessed be.